check this gadget here. Just picked up the HTC Flyer. And I'm going to do a test with the scribe pen. HTC, when they were promoting this, the scribe pen was a big thing with it. You know, the ability to write, re, uh, have it record your notes and remember what you're writing, all that thing. They kept on making a big deal about this pen. However, they didn't include it with the U.S. version. And the pen is an accessory item for $80. So, is this worth the $80? Should you get this pen for the $80? Is it a good writing tool? I can definitely, you would definitely have an answer by that by the end of this video. Now, if you're like me, I'm a student, and uh, I wasn't necessarily getting this to take notes in class just because I know, you know, they wouldn't keep up. I take notes on my iPad by typing it. Uh, but I do take a lot of notes, you know, just random notes and things like that. So, ideally, I wanted to get this to, instead of have a, you know, a notebook, to have all my notes in here. Now, I will say that I would just let you know this right off the top. If you were looking forward to writing notes on here, this this is you still you want to want to stick with pen and paper basically. If you're an artist, architecture, you know, things like that where you need to draw, do graph stuff like that, then yeah. The pen is helpful. If you're going to be typing your notes and then just using the pen to draw like graphs and stuff like that, then yeah, the pen is helpful. It's a good drawing thing but as far as writing like writing like pen and paper you just want to want to stick with pen and you just want to you want to stick with pen and paper or either you know just get a capacitive uh stylus and use it on like an ipad or a zoom or something like that so let me show you the stylus. so this is my stylus for the ipad and this is how all of the capacitive stylus are with the fat tip things like that this particular size I have is comfortable to hold. Some of them are short, like the Target's one. They have a short one that's not so comfortable. This one's comfortable to hold, just like the scribe pen is comfortable to hold. You see aluminum, has a thin tip, has the button for highlighting, has the button for erasing. I like the erasing button. That's pretty uh, handy. It takes a quadruple A battery, which they include for you. So, but it's aluminum, lightweight, you know, nice feel. And so is my other stylus. This is a stylus uh, by Young Life. Picked it up off Amazon. No more than ten bucks. Rest is eighty bucks, and we sh I will show you later on that they're pretty much capable of the same thing. So this is a stylus scribe pen. Because of the thin tip, you know, you necessarily think it's good for writing and you know what I noticed in all the demo videos that, it, that all the HTC Flyer was doing they never set the device down and tried to write like you know like you were writing on pen and paper they always had it in there just scribbling on it really quick you know just scribbling but they never really tried to you know write so I wasn't able to know if it would be a good writing tool until I basically had to test it out myself because all the videos they just kept on scribbling so that's what I want to do for you guys want to test out show you on how it writes on a flyer and then write the same thing on my iPad and basically show you that well you'll just see so let's get to the video by the way just so you know neither of these devices have screen protectors on them so this is writing strictly on the screen I'm just gonna write this is a test now one thing that you will notice and you might heard some other people say if you put go ahead to you know write like you how you're going to write on the paper you will probably get the keyboard popping up the first time the first couple of times as long as your pen is touching it the keyboard is not going to pop up but you know it's natural for when you go down to start writing that your wrist hits the the uh, canvas first so the keyboard is going to pop up and that can be annoying so hopefully they come out with a fix for that but i'm just going to write as you see there keyboard popped up but if it pops up, you can just start writing. But it made a mark down there for whatever reason. So you can just, I'm just going to erase that and try this. Again, I'm just going to write this is a test. Okay. And so, get you a better look at it. It's not too bad. What I also want to show is, you see how this looks now. If you turn it into landscape mode, notice how it gets bigger. Now, 
say if I was to write something here in landscape, right? This is another test in landscape mode. Okay, so I wrote it noticeably smaller. When you flip it back into portrait mode, notice it's noticeably smaller. So I just wanted to point that out just for people, you know, so they would know that your text is going to change when you're writing in the different um, orientations. So you see that this is a test. Another thing I want to point out that I noticed when writing is if I was writing, I noticed this when I was writing towards the top, of my roots was on the thing. If I was writing a line, sometimes it wouldn't make the keystroke. So I'm not sure what that was about, and it just wouldn't make the it wouldn't make the mark. So just be aware you might come across that issue. All right, so over here we're using the pen ultimate app. Like I said, no um, screen tech on here. Using the thinnest line. All right, so just gonna write. This is a test. I'm just gonna write, and then this is. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna flip the orientation since that's what I did for HTC Fire. Okay, and the only thing with the Pen Ultimate app is it means these little marks from your wrist. Even though, as you can see, I have the wrist protection on. But you still get those little marks, so that can be slightly annoying, but I can definitely deal with that considering I only paid $10 max for this and I paid $80 for the scribe pen. So, put this back. So, Take a look. As you see, they look the same. They look, they look the same. You know, when I write in portrait mode, it's the same size. You know, no change, size changing. So, basically, my point is, if you're getting this to try to, you know, write words, you know, it's not. You might want well to stick with pen and paper or how I'm going to do, return this $80 pen and, you know, I can just use my capacity scholars because I get the same result. Also, it's nicer writing on an iPad because it's a larger screen. Now, I'm not sure. I think I read rumors that HTC might be coming out with a larger screen. I think when they come out with a larger screen, this will be better. You know, it'll be a better option for taking notes. But because the screen is so small, you know, you can't you know, go to true, you know, note taking. So if you're taking like minor notes, that'd be fine. But if you're in a class, you know, for students or meetings where you have to take notes pretty fast, you know, your best bet would just be stick with your pen and paper if you want to catch the notes. Another thing is, um, well, that's as far as the writing, but that's not the only thing the pen is good for on the HTC style. I'm going to be returning mine just because like I said, I can if I want to write notes, I can use my stylus on an iPad. But the note, the the pen is helpful for other things, as you probably already know. You can do the snapshots and do the marking on here. But that's not the helpful part for me. The helpful part for me is the writing on the internet pages, and you can write on the internet uh, on your emails, things like that. So, as you can see, this is a scroll page. Say you want to circle this and then circle something down a page. You're not going to be able to do that. Basically, it takes a picture of what it is right now. You have to save this and then scroll down a page and do uh, another save. So, I just wanted to show that just for people so people will know, be aware of that. Um, and the other good thing that this is for is highlighting in the books. Now, I wouldn't necessarily be highlighting the books, but I think you can, I think you can do this with PDFs, too. I haven't put any PDFs on here yet, so I can't tell you yet, but you can highlight on here. You can also write on here, but I won't be um, 
able to tell you about the PDFs yet. I want to say you should be able to ideally do the same thing on PDFs. I really hope so. That would be helpful for school. But um, this might be helpful for people, you know, with the books, want to highlight stuff or make marks. I think this is a very helpful feature right here. So I'm going to return the pages because yeah, I'm not going to be using it for my writing option. I'm not in school right now, so I don't need to be highlighting any books as of right now. And then the web page thing, I don't have anyone to send it to. It's not doing circling that and stuff is not necessarily going to make my life any more productive, basically. Especially not for $80. That's the real problem. Is that if it was like $40, I'd probably keep it. I probably, I probably wouldn't be so bad about it. But, I mean, the $80 is really pushing it, especially... With this being four ninety nine, it being like a big mobile device kind of right now, which I get that I do another video in my first impressions video. You'll hear me talk about that, but this is strictly about the pen. So, I mean, basically, before I run out of time, the pen is good for artists. If you're an artist, this is a great drawing tool. You know, you do all type of shades. It, it's a good drawing tool. If you just need to take random notes, it'll be okay. It's not the best for words. I mean, you can get the same result on, you know, using the stylus. And if you're looking in the mark for tablets, you spend $4.99, $4.99 on this. Of course, you're going to get the more bang for your buck with the iPad. But, you know, you might be in the market for a 7-inch device. Like, I want to have a 7-inch device. Not necessarily the best for writing, but, you know, it can get the job done. Great for drawing. Awesome if you want to use it for books, and I believe it should work for PDFs too. And it also works for email. Take snapshot. So this is helpful. I was using this the other day. I need to mark stuff on email, and this was a helpful so feature. So I was saying this is good for email because you can write on here. This was helpful for me. I was using this uh, the other day actually marking some emails up. So that's what it's helpful for. Um, even though I initially got this tab to write on, like, pen and paper, I realized I'm not going to be able to do that. However, the stylus is helpful for other things. It's helpful for taking a screenshot, which I believe you're going to take a screenshot with this if you have a stylus, which I hope that's not the case because that would suck. But it's good for that. It's, it's, I, this would be helpful for me marking emails. The books would be helpful for me if, it can, if I can mark on PDFs, which I think you can. I'm going to have to address that in the pros and cons video. So, and marking on the web page. So, it's helpful for those things if you're trying to, in drawing, but if you're trying to, like, write, like, pen and paper, you know, just stick with pen and paper. But the stylus has its place. It's worth $80. That's up to you. You know, it depends on how much you're going to be using. So, check back for the pros and cons video and impressions video. Check back later.